with planet Moon Eva. So that shows that our technology has really matured. But you must recognize one thing. We have been walking in a very hostile environment due to the possible application of such technology for various uh, defense applications and so on. The many countries were apprehensive and they were not willing to share their knowledge or experience with us. So our engineers, scientists and other team members were working in ISRO and associated institutions. They have to really stand upside down to learn the basics of all these and really master the technology with time. Yes, during this process, we have encountered failures, but from the failures we have learned and we have improved the system, that is what led us to the success story which is today. You must all be aware that the Indian Space Program has really impressed with the launching of a spacecraft to the moon. In fact, it was a great event, not only for the nation, so the entire global community has accepted as a sign of maturity of the Indian Space Program. You, you have already seen through the media the event which was taking place, traveling all the way up to something like 400,000 kilometers and placing the spacecraft around the moon. But the challenges associated with that were very many. We had in the past travel hardly to 36,000 kilometers, that's the geostationary orbit for putting our communication satellites. But once you go beyond that, uh, it becomes a really a challenging path. The gravitational field of Earth all virtually is not there. The influence of other planets are predominant. The, especially the moon and the sun is a very strong force which is acting on the spacecraft. To even imagine the influence coefficient which is, affects the trajectory of such a spacecraft and to see how the spacecraft can be controlled and navigated through the deep space to reach the destination. That for itself was a great challenge. In fact, uh, the 60 trajectory equations which has to be written, it all has to be evolved from the basic physics and the mathematics associated with that. And our team have really deciphered and they put all this into place and run through a large number of simulations. But when you do the simulations, you make many assumptions, especially about the influence coefficients you come across in space. And that has to be validated. So we took a very cautious approach of going step by step towards the moon. From a 22,000 kilometers orbit, we raised to 36,000 kilometers, then to something like 64, and so on. In five steps, we arrived there. But during this process, we have validated our software, our assumptions, the, the course of the spacecraft and the type of velocities which reach, etc. But at the same time, still we had the anxiety. Uh, nearly in the early phase of the space exploration, about 60 personal spacecraft which were sent to the moon, they have crash landed there. Compared to that, to see that the mission is success is a real uh, anxious moment for us. The spacecraft was approaching the moon. It is, uh, mind you, that is nearly 400,000 kilometers away from Earth, and we were having the ice and gears here in a plan loop, a place called Baila Loop, a huge dish antenna with 36 meter, 30 meter diameter, with uh, all the tracking, telecommand, and control system. They are constantly in touch with the spacecraft, and we were watching on the screen. Every instant, the spacecraft was uh, accelerating and it was picking up the speed. If the speed exceeds a particular limit, it will simply skim to uh, the, so the moon's uh, gravitational field and go into the deep space and last forever. By any chance, if the direction is a fraction of a degree deviating from what we have want, it will crash down on the surface of the moon. But alas, I think to the ability of our simulations and the controls what we have implemented, we could arrive there with a precision of 10 kilometers and turn the course of the spacecraft to the moon uh, very precisely and the first orbit itself against about 500 kilometers by 7,500 kilometers around the moon, we have got within about 5 kilometers. So that has been really a highly satisfying moment which proved that the host of technology associated with the space travel we have proven at one spot. But it, the story doesn't end there. Last uh, six months, it has been an honorable job. 11 instruments have been working on board. One was the moon impact rock, 
uh, is, uh, was released from the main spacecraft and made the impact on the surface of the moon at a planned location. So this carried the international flag and we have the proud moment of depositing our international flag on the lunar surface and party of the Since then, since that we have been continuing the imaging of the lunar surface, we have today a comprehensive three-day picture of the moon. Every bit of the surface has been mapped and we can have ups and downs to the accuracy of something like 10 meters. So this is something